Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another episode of Who Should You Choose? Episode 43, which is just wild. Uh, before we get into it, guys, my G Fuel code was just boosted to 30%. If you were waiting to purchase some G Fuel, make sure you use my code. Code no sleeves at checkout. Save yourself 30% off. Go try Hype Sauce, Phase Berry, fantastic flavors. Uh, and it really helps me out, obviously. So make sure you use code no sleeves, 30% off for the next few days. So uh, it'd be sweet. And if you make a purchase with it, tweet me out, man. I'd love to see it. All right, guys, let's get into today's uh, today's episode. And uh, one other thing, again, guys, whoever, you know, if you subscribe and have notifications on, obviously I have the best shot of getting your question read because in these videos I go by, um, I go by first to comment and keep it about 20 minutes long. That said, hook me some likes, chat. I mean, there's a ton of there's a ton of views on these. I'd love it if you uh, if you if you hook the video some likes, it really helps me out. All right, let's get into it. That's enough about uh, that's enough that's enough self promotion. All right, guys, Lay Butch Pog Zachary McDonald says first almost dude. Ethan says code sod. All right, we're banning Ethan. Got it. <laughs> Sam Monk and Ace Slaves. I have three collectibles and I don't know what to do with them i have 11 uh gold collectibles i'm wondering if i should just change them to gcs also i'm also wondering i'm also going to upgrade wow i can't talk upgrade couturier and get brick bowser <laughs> are you trying to say brock besser <laughs> brick bowser <laughs> all right all right <laughs> How it's a distributor gladiator? All right, so he's got three gold collectibles. I have eleven or er, icon collectibles and eleven GCs. All right, he's got Gretzky, Nobles, McDavid, solid first line, Bellavo, Savard, Lafleur, and then he's got line eight, Newendike, Cornway, Terry, Kachur, and Music. All right, your defense is actually fine, so I'd worry about your forwards. Um, you probably want to get another left-hander, so. With 11 GCs, I mean, I wouldn't make any of the icons that are, or the master set players that are out right now. I would wait until we see who Canada, US, Sweden, and Slovakia is. Although, I'm almost positive Slovakia is Tatar. Uh, on my stream, we talked about it. I just don't see any other way it's not Tatar. Anyways, um, outside of that, I mean, I would just I would just hold on to them and wait for the next master set. You almost have enough to make a master set. And usually, the Canadian or the US representatives or even sweden one of them will be useful enough to to grab other than that make sure yeah couturier and get 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 brick <laughs> brick bowser yeah get those two guys man and keep uh keep bringing them up guys again the value for those fantasy cards are just through the roof dude bevo says poggers look at all the first the notification squad guys all right, Ace Sleeves. I've been watching your videos the past few weeks after playing Hut for the first time, even though I've been playing NHL 20 series since 2K10. Okay. Uh, fun to Gallo in streams. All right, buddy, what's going on? I'm free to play with 35K and three untradeable collectibles. Paris Sunko, good card. Lemieux, McDavid, Crosby, Pasta, Kobe. All right, so you want to upgrade your centerman, and again, it's pretty basic, guys. So your next set... Get Couturier. Go and trade in the amount of uh, untradeables that you need to get the Couturier. That is the way to go. You need a centerman. He is the best centerman in the game currently, uh, and he'd definitely help you. Out. And it won't cost won't cost you that much. After that, I see you have fantasy Besser. Keep upgrading that Besser. On the you've got a bunch of righties. Like uh, you have Pasta and Stamkos, both righties. I would look to get a lefty, so I'd probably get rid of Pasta and get another lefty. Um, if you don't, you, if 35k, you're not gonna be able to get much. You could get lit Duchesne, who is still decent for that value. So, um, look at it, look at that. And then on defense, after you get those guys, then you need to work on a defenseman. You need to, you need to one, at least one or two good defensemen. Um, you know, you could go with like the 86 Yandel in that mid tier guys, or fantasy Makar guys on my free to play team. I'm going to start playing my Xbox team next week. I've been really into my PS4, like God's or PS5 God squad. Uh, because I got all the synergies activated, and I'm having a blast playing with it. Uh, but you're going to see, I have every single fantasy card. They're just so easy to, to upgrade and, and cheap. So um, I would start with the Makar as well. I mean, Chris says, I'm in your Twitch. I released this video while I was streaming. Stream game. Also, thanks for the tip my last vid. I'm mar <laughs> All right, Caden, A sleeves. I'm free to play and don't know where to go next. No GCs. One icon, Howitzer's Pizza. All right, so... <clears throat> 
these kind of questions are hard because I'm just going to give you a card to go out and chase. LaFleur, Lindros, McDavid, Sackett, Gartner, Giroux, Holik. Okay. You have Couturier. Lit OEL, Chelios, Hedman, and Team of the Week Jones. I have 85 stone and 82 Besser. For squad battles, should I still sell my gold players or do I use them for fantasy sets? Right now, so the fantasy set thing kind of changed the game, guys. Um, what I would do is take, on, if you are a free-to-play player right now, I would take untradeable again and work towards your fantasy, guys. If you know that you're not, like, it, it's tough. Like, if you, fantasy cards are your best cards and they're, like, in that, you know, 85 to 88 range, just keep going with them. So take untradeable so that you can make them. Once you, if, if those cards you know, are going to be like your second tier. So like Besser, if you have LaFleur and and, Ma and Mario Lemieux and you're going to play him on the wing, um, Besser, like that, that's your third right winger, right-handed winger. So there's no reason, you know, to take tradable or untradable at that point because, you know, you want to try and at least make some coins back. But fantasy cards are where it's at, especially with this release that just happened this last week. I mean, Line A is awesome, but the other cards just not really worth it. I'd rather have, I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather have Besser, um, uh, Couturier or even Makar. <clears throat> Twitch gang, full disclosure yet, but he's 100% my next buy. I don't have Matthews, but he's 100% my next buy. Yeah, that is the play. You've got distributor too. Uh, no, you've got a great team here, bro. I don't like Spurgeon for distributor. Uh, you guys can't see it, but or maybe you can. I would get rid of uh, Jared Spurgeon, get another decent defenseman that's right-handed, and then maybe replace... Taylor Hall with like Olafson or something like that or some uh, you know it could be uh, uh Simmer I think um Charlie Simmer I think is his name the icon that has a uh, distributor I would rather have that Havoc says notification squad what's up dude all right Ethan A slaves my team is Lafleur Lemieux McDavid or McDavid okay Vazzy, I have distributor speedster howitzer activated for 350k and seven collectibles. I was wondering what my next step should be. Lafleur, Lemieux, Gretzky. You guys can't see it. Lafleur, Lemieux, Gretzky. Hmm. Uh, it's Stamco. So you need a you need a right-handed winger card. That's that's your go-to. So there's a lot of options at that point. Uh, you have 350k, a couple of options. You could go with a Ginla, the 90, the 90 a Ginla, who's going for pretty cheap. Honestly, not a bad play. Or go make the Besser. You could almost buy Besser. I bought Besser for like 450k, I think, or 420k. Watch for his price. He might be half decent for you. Hey, Slees, I'm about, I have about 450k, 250k worth of gold players. I get ultimate rivals. Okay. Should I take tra untradeable this week to work with collectibles for either fantasy guys or the new MasterCard? Yes, I would. Or should I take tradable? No, I would, I would, uh, at that point, I would take, you have enough coins. Uh, I would just take, uh, I would take untradable. I plan on getting the 91 Kachiri and Besser. This should be done in a few weeks. I know what you said about Tavares being shit, but I have him untradeable and I actually like his card so far. Some people are going to like him. Uh, again, it's not just me. Like, this is like consensus from like um, the guys that I play and, you know, the higher end, like Division 2, Division 1 guys. No one really likes the Tavares card. He just feels really sluggish. So keep that in mind, guys. Some people might really enjoy him. <clears throat> this is a perfect squad, man. Because your lineup, your lineup is good already, but just upgrading, you know, Besser and, and Couturier, you're just going to get better and better. Your team is fine. I mean, other than your bottom pairing defense, you could get Team of the Week Headman. That's probably the next best, the next buy, but I would just wait for a new icon. I mean, you have 450k. Like, I'm almost thinking you could... You could get rid of Stamkos, grab a Ginla, and then you can get rid of Tavares and grab like mm, uh, Ra Rasmus Kapari, that that uh, Finn card that's well, it's still in sets. That might be an option for you. A lot of notification squad guys here. My goodness. Hey, buddy, fan from Finland here. Bonjour, dude. I have 100K, zero cards. I'm about to get the next 87 set, and I hope I get sack at Coffee Lynch from Forsberg. <laughs> With the coins, I maybe get 87 Barzell or safer bet the 86 Ryan Whitney. <clears throat> I will upgrade Carlson and Hedman to team of the week in primetime ones. Also, 86 set is in my list. I don't like 87 McJesus, 85 Daze, and they don't fit my team. Kachuri is in progress now. 
All is about the 87 set and what I get from that. If I get Coffee, Bork will be replaced. If I get Sackic, Pitlow will be upgraded, and Holik will be moved to right wing. Okay, if Holik moves to right wing, get rid of Holik. Not worth it. Um, okay, well, if you're going to do the 87 set, that's fine. I mean, honest to God, I'd probably do the 86 set and hope for one of the three defensemen. Um, because all three of the defensemen would be a big upgrade for you on defense. Um, but yeah, the 87 set is, is probably the play. Uh, upgrade Carlson having the team of the week ones. Yeah, that's not a bad go. Outside of that, you need left-handed wingers. So if you don't want McDavid and, you know, you don't think Daze is good, um, you could, you're saving up coins at that point for, you know, a, a good, a good left-handed winger card. Um, Matthew or duo Matthews is still a very, very fantastic card. So look for someone like that, but yeah, wait to see what happens in the set. Yo, Sleeves, love your videos, man. Wondering if you could assist with my team, for sure. Uh, Lafleur, Lemieux, McDavid, Stamkos, Gretzky, Goudreau. 450k, 7 GCs. You have 7 gold collectibles. Uh, and I don't see... Um, okay, your first thing... Okay, honestly, what I would do, move Lemieux to the wing and get rid of Stamkos. Put Gretzky up top on the first line. Upgrade Couturier with your um, with your seven gold collectibles. Uh, you should be able to get him to like 88, and he'd be your second line center. Then with the 450K, I mean, dude, you could go like, you could go like Koivu at center. Then you're in a really good spot with your team. Or you can put him on the wing. Is the 92 Bob worth it if you have a team similar to yours? Dis Distributor Swarm Spark active with Speedster Howitzer, 320k in the bank, 15 GCs, and 16 Icon Click. Horus, bro, how do you have all of these? That's someone hit Bob's credit card. <laughs> I respect it. All right, same first two lines as yours, and then he's got Stone, Crosby, Gabrick, Doan, Newendike, Clark. Yeah, man. Honestly, you're hot rich. You're the kind of you're the kind of player where you could go and grab Bobrovsky. I can't find him for anything under 650k, and I do not want to spend that. But if you've been in my stream, I've been close to pulling the trigger a couple times. Chat, guys. Sorry, I call you guys chat, but that's just habit from streaming. So if I say chat, you know I mean comment or guys commentating. Um, don't buy, don't buy the. First of all, don't get the 91 Bobrovsky. Not worth the price at all. Uh, 90, second of all, if you're going to buy the 92, you better be hut rich. I don't want to see anyone in my in my comments or my followers that you know have 85s or 86s in their lineup, but they have a 92 Bobrovsky. That will not save you, trust me. Do you think we should start taking untradable rewards to make Icon collectibles to get Silver Master Icon upgrades? Again, it depends on your team. I'm, I'm a big proponent of, you know, like, not waiting because again guys it, what are you waiting for like you want to take on tradables now but your team but but hinder your team now to save up so that your team is basically just as good as everyone else's later on uh plus it gives you something to chase continually i i like upgrading i don't like i understand the whole save and then at one point bam i have all these great players and i have an awesome team but it's like okay but the three weeks leading up to it your team isn't nearly as good so I, I wouldn't. I, again, that's a philosophy that I follow, but I get, I'm a content creator, and people want to see the best team. So, Are you excited about World Junior cards? I love World Juniors. I mean, again, everyone knows I'm a big Akil Thomas fan. I'm a huge Ice Dogs fan. Uh, and, uh, like, yeah, dude, I, lo I love the World Juniors. Like, that's literally Akil Thomas' sign stick right there. <laughs> literally 21 comments, and video came up 30 seconds ago. Jeez, Hunzi, I know, dude. The, go the boys are hungry for who should you choose. You're the best content creator in the game. Keep it up. Happy holidays, bro. I appreciate that. I don't think so, but I'm going to keep trying to work on that. But thank you, man. Not first, says Corey. What's up, sleeves? I love your videos, man. Keep it up. Free to play player here. Wondering how to proceed. Being grinding out, being grinding squad battles, rivals. Always doing tradable awards to stack up the gold collectibles. But not sure if I, should, <clears throat> if I should save for a master set item or continue with fantasy sets. I have Besser Couturier, and I'm working on but having a real hard time with the cards needed for sets in the auction house. Panarin, Marino, McDavid, Besser, Couturier, Kucherov, Stamkos, Crosby, Malkin, McKinnon, Primo, Marchand. Oh. Hmm. 
So you're having a hard time getting the cards from the auction house. Remember the jerseys, guys. I believe the jersey pack is still available. You can do that. It's just a long reset. So make sure you're taking advantage of that immediately. Um, but yeah, the jerseys are always going to be hard to get. And it's going to be like that for a little while. Um, the best, the best tip, like, so what I would do is find the jersey you want and literally for like 30 minutes, just keep spamming Y or triangle to refresh it and just be quick because it'll sell almost immediately. So if there's a card that you need and it shows no on the auction house, you just got to sit there and hit triangle on it. Um, yeah, dude, like, so you have Panarin. I think it's almost time to actually Panarin is spark. Now that I have spark activated, I Panarin's a good card. Like I just. 86 Malkin and Kucherov. You need lefties. You need a good left-handed forward card. Um, look at the 86 Couture. I actually like him far more than Malkin, especially. And Marchand. Look at the 86 Couture and James Neal, the prime times. Buy or sell Hansen. Honestly, we're getting to the point where, like, if you don't, if the card doesn't have a really good team synergy that you can use. I'm selling. And again, I'm in a different spot than a lot of you guys. Hansen's a fantastic card and still one of the best defenseman cards you can get. His shot is bananas. Um, but And he's a fine number one defenseman for you. But we're at a point, again, like if I'm going to spend that much coins on a card, uh, he needs to provide a lot of value for me. And while Howitzer is a great synergy to have, his I think he has balanced as his other one, just not going to cut it. Like Again, we're starting to see like... Now all these cards keep coming out. You want to make sure that you get you know, the most bang for your buck if you're going to spend that much on them, but I would sell. Jordan Buha. Hey, man, Nody Game. What's up, my dude? Saving uh, this in my notes so I can hopefully land in 20 minutes. Thanks for putting in the work. Congrats on the new place. My wife and I just moved, so I know the full, I know the feels of getting my own dedicated office space. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Congrats. All right, roster. All right, McDavid, Barkov. Uh, Solani, look at the, I, I love this, it's got the synergies, look at that, Nylander, Couturier, wow, look at the swag, Nylander, here we are, and Gretzky, uh, oh, do you have him switched? Okay, okay, Sackick, Crosby, Lemieux, Sedin, Sedin, Sundin, and Oshie, you guys, so you play your guys on the correct side, which, again, I think is, uh, is okay, I only do it on one line, but there is definitely a, a way to do it. Your team is solid. Uh, Coffee, Ekblad, Morrissey, Howe, Ekman, Chelios, Ekman, Larson, and Chelios, Lundqvist, James. Yeah. All right, so he's got part B, 753,000 coins, my man. Either you're grinding day in, day in, out, or you, you hit mom's credit card. <laughs> I'm trying to decide whether to go for Speedster, Workhorse, or Pile on the Howitzer on the back end. All right, so Speedster, do you have LaFleur? You do not have LaFleur, and you do not have... Uh, high skin. If you guys don't have those two cards, don't just get Speedster um, to for your bottom line. Okay, guys. Like if you are going to go without those guys, don't just activate a synergy for the sake of activating a synergy on your fourth line. There's just there's just no point to that because they don't see the ice very often. So in this case, I would actually not go for Speedster. I would just keep doing Howitzer because um, again that that Howitzer is the best synergy to improve the player. Um, by far, like it's not really close. Um, so, so don't get that twisted. And there's a lot of debate over distributors, spark and swarm. That's fine, but there's no debate over howitzer. So I would probably just pile on the howitzer, uh, at the top end, man, you have so many coins, like <sighs> McDavid. I mean, while a great card, you have more than enough coins now to, to move on from him. Like you could probably go, I'm trying to think of my team off the top of my head. Like you could go, do you have Gretzky? You have Gretzky. Do you have Lemieux? You have Lemieux and you play them both on the wing. Oh, because, okay. All right, what I would do is switch McDavid and Gretzky, to be honest with you. But then with the coins, oh, I guess 87 McDavid. There still isn't that many, like, in that range. Because you've got Sackick, Sedin, like, mm, that's tough. There isn't that many cards out there, like Master Set. You can go Voracek. Like someone big, he might be pretty fun for you. Because righties you're okay with, I think. I'm not a huge fan of Solani at the top. So you might want to go and look at upgrading Solani. Like, line A for your team might actually be pretty sick, to be honest with you. Um, trying to decide if they go. Uh, I also have Sydney on the fourth, which fetched another 400k. Yeah, true. Niedemeyer 88 with that spark, too, is enticing. 
Then I could go with a good old Latang because I like the way he plays and another speedster. True, true. Or double with Theodore. You could go Theodore. Again, I think Theodore's value, again, a card having two speedster, in my opinion, not that big of a benefit. But if you have Heiskanen and Lafleur, instead, there's not a lot of great top end cards that have speedster. So you could put Theodore in to, to activate for those two. But you don't have those guys, so I wouldn't I wouldn't really look to activate. I think Workhorse is great. I, I want to get Workhorse and buy that Pareko, guys, because I think that with Spark Swarm Distributor and Workhorse on that card, like, he's actually unbelievable. How would you pro this? Keep in mind that Magician is also super relevant and fun on this specific team. I've also thought of Panarin being a badass. On this team. That is a pretty good build. Like, the only, the only place that I would see an upgrade that you could do um, are guys like Koivu. I think it would be fantastic for your team. The two to Spark Crosby is great. Obviously, you're trying to get Spark... Um, I would try, you could almost, you could almost make Spark and Distributor on your team, um, by getting Gabrick as another option on the left side. He might, he would replace McDavid, but you want Magician. If you're looking for an upgrade for McDavid that has Magician, then it's Tavo Teravainen. I would grab Tavo, Tavo, to be honest with you. And I had a lot of fun with him, so. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys again for all the questions. Make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on for your best shot at getting your question read in the next video. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, like quick questions, just come to my Twitch chat, 12 p.m. Eastern time. A lot of these guys um, now watch me every single day on Twitch, and we just shoot, you know, shoot the crap, just talk HUD all day and play some NHL. So keep that in mind, guys. And remember, code no sleeves. This winter, we have three days of 30% off. Now is the time, guys. You're going to save the most amount of money on your G-Fill purchases using code NOSLEEVES. All right, guys, I will see you later on.